So hi me again. So we are almost done with the texture. Now we are going firstly create uh, the old textures which I told you. So we'll do part of this, the metal, the map map to them and so on. So uh, I need uh, firstly just this part here. But before I start to create that, I would like to tune up a little bit this one here. Now how I do that, I will create a new layer. C call it uh, black or dark spots. Select a brush, black color, and we'll use a grunge brush. Say, not this one. Hmm. We need to find a nice one. But uh, some which I would like. Oh, just too small. Yeah, this is so far fine. So, what I want to create is spots like this. I will show you. I will create something like this. Now, these spots uh, should like uh, just be there for some effects, like the white spots, also these ones here. So, we'll create. Yeah, I like this one better, so use just the brush. Uh, so, we'll create spots like this to give the texture a little bit more feeling that it's not perfect. Like, there are some bumps and just bad things. Oh, this is too much. Okay, let's choose something else, something smaller. Yeah, something like this, like something like that. You can go also here down. So you can go also to the metal part to make a dirty, dirty things there. And we will change the brushes according to what part we are doing. And we'll just go around randomly. I will randomly put there uh, these kind of small details, or this kind of detail, which will make uh, I hope so, hope so ni nicely effect to the gun. But we'll see how it will look at the end. So yeah, we're making up dirt, dirty spots there. <coughs> And we are good in that. Something there, something maybe here up. I don't know. A little bit more down maybe. Here we can go straight. Oh, part here, part there. Hmm. Oh, we'll see. We'll see how it will be looking at the end anyway. Okay, probably one more here. So when I turn off the reference, you can see all my spots on the texture, and it's really looking nicer, I would say. One more here. Maybe more realistic, really, because it's not so clear like it was before, even that there are some maps already applied on the texture itself. But still, this is a nice stuff when you put it there. Okay, one more here. I don't know, even, yeah, a little bit in touch. So I think this is this is fine. We can also try uh, some blending option on that, but I don't know if something will actually work here. Maybe this one. This is, I don't know. Maybe I will keep it on soft light to make it more soft. Or I will just put it here, normal, and make it like 80%, which should be enough. <laughs> and I think uh, there is enough details for the map. Because I don't want to create texture with all of details, names, signs, and I don't know what. Because anyway, at the end, it will be like, there will be just this. Like, it will be not anymore the laser rifle like, from the game. It's something absolutely different. So. I will keep it like it is. I think there is enough of the details and the textures there. And I will proceed. I want to create the textures. The textures I will use then for texturing some parts of the gun, which I don't want to uh, texture using like this kind of texture. So <laughs> for that, uh, I need actually just one part, and it's this one. Not side, top. 
okay. I think this this should be fine. So we'll create texture from this. We'll see how big it will be. So uh, hit Control Shift C and Control V to our oops some merge between the layers and we'll copy just the part which we want to or which we had selected. Yeah, this is actually fine. Anyway, I will not use it for big parts, just small ones. So this is fine for the size. Uh, we can also look on more parts. This we can turn off. Okay, I will turn off the metal part, I think. Hmm. Okay, we can create a small texture using this one. We no, not now like a big texture, but it should be fine uh, for really uh, small details, which we will create with that. So again, Ctrl Shift C, Ctrl V, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, new one. Okay, this is small, but enough for the purpose which I want to use that. It's enough. I will delete that because anyway, I, I don't need that. I will, I will choose some metal part. I think I can, yeah, turn some things off. So this will be a little bit bigger part. Again, I will select it like this. Now maybe here we can go a little bit more. Control Shift C, Control V. We have a new layer. Control C, new. Yeah, this is enough big. We have the metal part with some ground brushes and so, so it's not like the first one which we had. We can turn that on, and I would like to make a layer from this. So it should be pretty easy. We'll just grab this one, Control Shift C, Control V. So this will be a very thin layer. Okay, just a stripe, but I can use that for sure. And also, I will do <coughs> a copy of this. So, the same shortcuts like before. Oops. New one. Okay. Great. Okay, so I think I have all textures which I wanted. Now, I will copy this layer. Ctrl Shift U, which will desaturate the, the layer. We'll go to Image, Invert, and we'll a little bit play with the levels. Go with this here and with this here. So like this, we can create something like a fake pump map, like this. So we'll simulate a little bit of bump map, which I want to do. Ver very soft. It should be just like a small pattern. And this will do, oops, firstly, please make a copy of that. And this we will do actually on all of the images. So the same like before. And keep the level low or high. Depends on your taste. How it should be solved. Like you see now, the fibers are up to C. And this is what we want to achieve with the bump map. Of course, the fake bump map is not something like a real bump map. Uh, this can be used just really for a soft bump. Because if you try to use it higher, uh, you will get really a not nice pattern. So, just for this, just a little bit. And you will see it will, it will look great. And it's really nice to have on everything about map, of course. So again, we'll make the fibers visible like this. Of course, now is there a little bit uh, black or white spots, but this is actually also fine because there is some distortion again, or should be on the texture on the model. So it's fine, really. But we will see at the end, of course. One more part before us, should be the final part. We'll be doing the texturing in Max. And 
and then the rendering and I will cross my fingers to do it really nicely. Okay, we have this. Now let's go here. Here we will do two maps. Uh, first of all, I hope everything is on height. Yeah, it looks so. Okay. We'll go absolutely to the, to the top. Control A, Control Shift C, Control V. So we'll also name this to bump or soft bump. Let's call it the soft soft one because we will do here also a hard bump map. And Control Shift U, the same, the same process like before. Invert. Image adjustments levels, and width is down, width is up, until we see everything. The fibers here and so <coughs> should almost disappear everything, just to make it really very soft. So something like this. So this will be our soft bump map, and uh <coughs> now we will merge it with the uh, hard bump map, I will say, or we will uh, make here again one map which will be more harder or more visible, more white. So I will create here a new layer, fill it with black. Now I will put this down until, I don't know, 50%. So this will be very soft and I need now really uh, some stuff which I want to go up with them, like some scratches. Uh, one thing which I want to do is to find the layer oops, my bad where I did the text yeah, of course it's here so here on this layer I will hit Control c on that I will select that, I will go back here and I will just use the bucket tool and make this one so and maybe on a new layer I don't know if it's working yeah now it's better so if we uh, a lot more white and now the scratches <coughs> I can do it on the same layer like here I'll change the brush and the scratches should be somewhere here I think up the reference pictures to see what we are doing and no it's not the scratches it's a very strange brush so we need some scratches maybe uh, I don't know how to say we'll see we'll see how it will be looking mm, uh -huh. what I did okay so it's a little bit my bad I'll make it bigger and we'll see yeah this is too much of the scratches. So we need soft scratches like this maybe. Yeah. Absolutely. So here we should be a little bit more careful because the brush is really hard. And we'll see how this will be looking. Great this should be enough. So we have here two layers. One is uh, let's say a hard bump map which will do uh, the scratches on the gun and one is absolutely different which is a soft one. So we can make it a little bit more soft probably. Okay let's go to 60% and this is our bump map so I think we have everything actually. So, we are done, surprisingly, with everything. We'll see about the bump map. Maybe it would be better to save both and use one of them. I don't know. We'll see how it will be looking. You never know how it will be looking until you don't use that or try that. So I can tell this will be looking great, and but at the end, don't have to look great. So, we'll see. Here's our texture, and I think it was nicely done. It's nicely done. We'll see how it will be looking at the gun. I really hope it will be great. 
but we will see, you never know. And here is a bump map. Don't forget to save everything separately, like this, the bump map, second like texture and everything here. And we'll continue in the next part in max. I think first we'll texture some parts on which we will not use U UV mapping. Then we will divide something um, using materials like these and then we will apply this big texture uh, to the main gun, or the main part of the gun. So I'm really looking forward for that <coughs> and I hope the result will be nice. So again, uh, as you can see the texture is not hard to do, you just need some time, some real world textures from which you can take the paint and then use some effects, some brushes to make it uh, look more realistic. Of course you need some reference pictures to know how to place it at the end. And of course you need some fantasy for that. And at the end some bump map. So I hope so far you like. I hope you did some changes to that, which I didn't. And anyway, uh, I will see you in the, in the last part and then I will say something at the end. Okay, so thanks for watching so far and bye bye.